Hey there, Miriam Shulman here. And today we're talking all about color trends for 2023. So if you are as obsessed about color trends as I am, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think about today's colors. And also be sure you hit subscribe if you want more videos to help you sell more art just like these. Before we get into today's video, this is Mariana Nielsen. She is an artist incubator client and a guest on the Inspiration Place podcast. I took a section of it out where we're discussing color trends because I thought it would be really great to show you what the colors are that we're talking about. I want to show you what they look like both in her artwork as well as modern art. And we're mostly focusing on Benjamin Moore's colors because they say their color palette is inspired by modern art art. And I agree. The colors are beautiful if they're used in art, if they're used in decor, if they're used in fabric. Both Mary Anna and I, we're not too keen on painting our walls with these colors. Let's see if you agree. So for that, let's get started. I am obsessed with all these various paint companies, color of the year. And Pantone has it. I think last year it's purple. I think this year it's a different shade of purple. I wasn't a big, I wasn't thrilled with either of those colors. But what's also interesting, and I think it's important for us artists to, not that you have to paint based on trends, but you should be aware of what these are because it does affect our art sales, what people what pe what is trending in the market. It's something like a gestalt that's happening. And each of the different paint companies, they also come up with what their recommendation is for the color of the year. Last year, in, well, this year, 2022, most of the paint companies had different shades of green. I don't know if you're aware, like um, Benjamin Moore, they had a beautiful shade of like sage green. Um, Sherwin Williams did as well. They all had like these very beautiful shades of green. This year, the colors are all over the place. So Sharon Williams has a completely muted color palette and Bear Paint, their color of the year is actually blank canvas, which is an off white. And then what I wanted to talk to you about, Mariana, and she's like, why are we even talking about this? <laughs> okay, so Benjamin Moore, I had said before I found out what the color of the year choices were, I thought, oh, like I, I have a new apartment. We painted it all Swiss coffee, which is basically an off-white color. And I thought when they come out with the color of the year, I'll paint my foyer, whatever it is. Well, I am not painting it this color. So I'm going to share it with you and we're going to talk about it. Okay. This is the color of the year. Wow. I know. They call it raspberry blush and it's basically coral. And it's, it's, a, dark, it's a dark coral. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know if they're going to sell a lot of these paint colors and they have what they, what they call like a palette of colors. And what they were saying is that this is, this is inspired by modern art. And I was thinking, huh, I wonder what Mariana thinks about this. Here we are. 20 oh. color trends. What do you think? So we've got We've got the coral we told you about. We've got this a teal green. We got blue that they're calling starry something. And it's basically like... Um, it looks like a muted ultramarine blue. Yeah, I don't think there's anything muted about this color palette. And then the last one is lime green, which is a very 60s color. So, um, so, so interestingly enough, lately on some of my paintings, I've been using more green. Yeah, um, I lose my color generally, but I'm really liking green and the and I'm using a much much lighter. I guess you call it coral. It's sort of a peachy color. I, but I you have because I've seen it. That's why I'm saying. That's why I said I wanted to show this to you. But but I find those colors a little bit too like in your face. Yeah, I, I don't understand their marketing around this at all, because I can see these colors in artwork, I can see these colors in fabrics, but I can't see anybody wanting to paint their walls any of these colors. No, especially the coral. I know, right? Well, any, any of them, you're right. Why are we talking about that? <laughs> because I use some of those colors. Conch shell, yeah. Oh. 
this so it's kind of a pink color and this is like the color i would see oh yeah tuning. yeah yeah right yeah and, and you know i'm a fan of teal but i don't like that teal and i the star it's a starry night blue it's kind of like van gogh's starry night but paint your walls with that are you kidding me yeah i know However, I think this is good news for the for us artists. So I think like these colors, not these exact colors, but I think, oh my gosh, these are all, this one is worse than the other, don't you think? Yeah. They have one called cinnamon, which is basically burnt orange. And then the Savannah green, it, it's kind of like poopy diaper green, <laughs> yeah. but they say it's inspired by modern art. Well, the art pieces there are lovely. <laughs> But I think they should have painted the walls white. I think so too. On it. All right. So I want to know what you guys think. What do you think of these colors? Would you use them in your home? Would you use them in your artwork? Let us know. So that that's what I wanted to show you. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that, Mary. Mariana is still like W off Miriam. What are you talking about? <laughs> if you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Hey, even hit the notifications. And if you want to hear the full interview with Mariana and how she has so much success selling her artwork, you may want to check out the podcast. So we have linked that right below in the show notes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for listening today and stay inspired.